Hi, and welcome back, Virgo. This is Golden Empress Collection, and I'm so glad that you have come for your second November reading. Let's see what's out there in the ethers for you. Just want to say thank you to all of the likes, shares, and subscribes. Everyone that supports the page, because your energetic vibration and the giving you give to me helps other people as well. So thank you very much. Thank you. I hope that this message finds you well. Let's see what's going on here. We've got the Knight of Swords. Oh, and but while I'm sitting here thinking to myself, some of you guys are getting ready to fall in love. If you have not already fallen in love, it's with someone from your past. Marriage is like swimming all around you, and it's definitely an emotional vibration. Um, I think the moon was just sitting in Virgo with the sun in Sagittarius, so very auspicious vibration. Um, something where you are able to create something brand new. Okay. Let's take a look here. High Priestess Energy. Virgo. What do the ethers need my Virgos to know about whatever it is that's being spoken? You possibly have someone doing some sort of air magic here, but this is also you driving the situation the way you want it to go. Okay, something that happened in the past. And intuitively, you're seeing something here now. Remember I said with that moon energy, can you guys see how the moon is right there on top? Your vibration has everything to do with uh, your emotional standpoint at this time. And it says, darkness into darkness, the key to all mystery. So it's actually seeing the dark side of something. There's a conversation that you want to have as well that you're not having. You're keeping it to yourself. Remember, I did say some of you guys are thinking about marriage. Um, please be careful is what I'm also picking up on. For some of you guys, if you're thinking about marriage here, but it's not something that you would normally think about or you're thinking about it with a very weird person, like maybe this is a brand new person that's just come around and there's something here where you feel like you're supposed to hold on to this particular person or you want to make things work it out, um... For some of you guys, I'm seeing that this person has possibly, I don't know, they've put you in, they put something on you. They've done some hoodoo or some voodoo on you. That's what I see. Yeah, five of wands. It could be a Leo energy here. It's conflict. Yeah, it's conflict in marriage. Some, and it, it's over a Taurus. This is that Taurus energy, but this is also, um, uh, what do you call that? Um, Saturn. Is that Saturn? I gotta think about this for a second. No, it's Jupiter. It's Jupiter. So the fighting is going to continue. There's some sort of secret energy here. And there's conflict over marriage. Someone's keeping a secret here, Virgo. Yeah. And so that you don't have to argue, you don't have to get into it with whatever this person is. You're kind of just staying to yourself here is what I feel. Yeah, Eight of Cups. This is definitely a Piscean energy here with this Jupiter card because this is now Jupiter in um, Pisces. Uh-huh. And then you have the Knight of Wands. So to me, this is, you know, on the lookout for the next couple of weeks, basically talking about a fight that could be happening where someone has gone within. Someone's not talking now because of that. Okay. And if it's not going to turn into marriage, then someone doesn't want to deal with the stress. Right. Somebody walked away from someone here or someone is leaving a situation, you could have a Pisces that you're dealing with that's getting ready to move or getting ready to travel here. For some reason, I don't I don't know why you considered it to be some sort of conflict or somebody's making some sort of change or there's a truth that's spoken in some way, shape or form, Virgo, um, that's making you fight for a particular relationship here. It's clarity that comes to mind because the universe is going to be stepping in. This is the soul completed journey here. You know, you took your new step. Now you're using your intuition about the direction that they want you to take to move towards whatever this is. You walked away from the drama already. You did a good job with that. But for some reason, there's something that is, um, I don't know, you, you need to do what's right about whoever this competition is or whoever this Leo energy is. This Leo is trying to cause problems in a relationship that you have. Yeah, the relationship is meant to be. See, emperor energy. 
It's Aries. You have to take control of this. See, look, and the Empress right here. You have the Empress, and I think that's the Judgment card. Yep. You, you're supposed to be reconciling with somebody here. But there's an energy around you that's toxic. See, here you are, Hermit. You know it. And you need to do your healing from whatever it was that was stressing you out. Ten of Cups and Ace of Swords. There's a Piscean energy around you. There's someone, there's a mystical person, there's a high priestess energy. There's someone here who is telling you how to make moves to get to where you need to be. But I feel like you could be fighting it, okay? Um, for the rest of you guys, you are definitely a balance. You understand the emotion that's coming through here. And you know that you need to learn to take control of whatever's happening in this relationship. But you don't feel like fighting with the masculine here. You do not. You don't want to fight with this particular energy. Yeah, four swords. So some of you guys might be saying, hey, look, because of how emotions can be really intense and they can be really harsh sometimes, I think we probably should break up for a little while. Um, I feel like that's going to cause even more conflict within the relationship because it's some sort of dark secret. OK, there's some sort of drama that's going to be caused here because the masculine is going to be making moves that the divine feminine knows nothing about. And that's why the intuition is just kind of kicking in overdrive here about whether or not somebody needs to be making some sort of transition. I feel like, Virgo, it's you. You're the one who's choosing to make this transition here. You're in, And you're in turmoil over whether or not this is actually going to be happening. You know, you're committed to someone here. You love someone. You want to be with whoever this particular person is. This person floats your boat, right? Look, they're your lover. You want to be with this particular person. You're communicating with this person. There's something about them being your yin, you're their yang, or vice versa. You could be the yin, they're the yang. I, if I already said it that way, whatever. You know what I'm saying. There is someone here who loves themselves. There is a masculine here that needs to love themselves and do what's right because they have multiple options around them. They have multiple things that they're fighting for, okay? Some of you guys, this is a holiday disaster waiting to happen. Somebody that's supposed to be traveling, there could be some sort of um, Piscean energy here that's going to cause some sort of drama, Virgo. Be on the lookout for that because it's going to cause conflict within your relationship. But here's the thing, do what's best for you don't worry about the conflict that this person is trying to put you in. They're trying to manifest upon you, all right? And you don't need to be dealing with that. And it's kind of an energy of wait for it. I feel like you're going to see it coming and you're just going to sidestep whatever it is. Like if this, this is rocks, but if you were sitting on the dock of the bay, just chilling, minding your business, and then you got a Piscean energy that tries to come in here for you and wreck shop in regards to whether or not you really love somebody or what your true um, desire is with the relationship, just let them, you know, continue to wreck shop the way that they are. You can always rebuild and do what you need to do. Okay. I feel like it's someone's opinion here. Yeah, that they're going to be offering. Someone's going to be offering an opinion here, but there's also going to be some sort of secret that comes out as well. Somebody could be getting mad here because they find out that if they were in a relationship and they decided to take a break, there's another person that has come into this mix with this Knight of Cups. Um, this is a love offer too. You know, Virgo, this is a love offer where I think you think about it all the time. You do. But it's there's so much conflict in the relationship, you're not sure how to control this. You're not sure how to move forward here. Um, and the truth is, is that maybe, just maybe, you know, it's better for you to be single, you know, um, and not really necessarily worry about whether or not this person is coming in to offer this cup of love here. Yeah. For some of you guys, this masculine energy and, and the things that you're showing yourself, it's like, who are you as a person? You know, your approach to life is you you do not want to deal with conflict in this relationship. Tell me what the challenge energy is. Is there challenge energy here? Yeah, look, somebody's being a liar. Someone's not telling the truth here, okay? And it's a cycle that someone's trying to keep someone stuck in. And that's why this intuition is kicking in here about what's being offered. I feel like... You walk away from some sort of dramatic situation and you go make an offer to someone else. And so that brings a fight in with this relationship. Listen, I don't know what it is, but I just, I feel Virgo, you are in love. 
you're in love and that's a challenge for you because of the conflict of other people that are around you and spirit showing you that you should end some sort of cycle and really take control of taking care of you right now yeah so your challenge here is the truth you know it's what are you going to be in? it's investing in the truth but it's also some sort of finances that you've got going on with a um i'm gonna say an aquarian energy but this could also be a libra too but it's just you making sure that you know the truth about what you want in life you know and this is the other thing you're doing very well for yourself <laughs> this is interesting so your challenge is having a conversation with your counterpart here you have the emperor and you have the empress and for whatever reason there's a fight coming about this relationship somebody wants this marriage to lead towards communion like i was going to say communion but i'm thinking a baby with this okay and somebody's thinking to themselves why should i have to get married just because there's a baby here um, but that's because that's what this empress wants. This is, you know, this empress is, um, I don't know. It, it could also be you just really learning to remain peaceful and abundant here. King of Swords and the Empress. Your challenge here. <sighs> okay. There's a, there's a mad rush here. The eight of wands. Okay. Somebody is learning that they now have a family when it could have just been like a one night stand type of energy. There is a pregnancy here. Okay. That's what this is. When you've got the empress and you have the 10 of coins, there's also some sort of secret communication that's coming in. Okay. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, if you are pregnant, you are telling this particular person, um, cause Virgo, this is, this would be Virgo is pregnant, right? And there's a Piscean energy that's coming in to make some sort of an offer that you have to learn to walk away from because of the drama that's there. Maybe you didn't walk away from something. And now the challenge is, is that someone's trying to keep this energy secret, but there's going to be a truth that has to come out. Somebody, and it's almost like somebody spent some money somewhere. I'm seeing that like there was some sort of secret money that was spent or there was some sort of secret that was given. Maybe if this is coming up through the holidays, someone is going to be sending abundance to their family and then there's going to be some sort of lack. It could be the divine feminine energy that sends money to, to other people, sends money back home, I'm hearing. And the masculine becomes very, very enraged by this. You know, and there's something about a fight where they don't feel like they should have to take care of other people too. Because like, you know, this is the divine feminine stepping in and, and bringing forth a very powerful energy and offering wisdom and abundance here. Virgo, for some of you guys, you have a high priestess energy around you that is supposed to be guiding you in the direction to bring you peace and abundance and help you do some sort of healing here. So don't miss out on that. That's going to come unexpectedly, I feel like. There's going to be, um, it's almost like a session for some of you Virgos where you're going to be sitting down and really learning about how to love yourself here. Yeah, after conflict within a relationship, maybe some of you guys are going to go receive some sort of counseling, you know, divine guidance. See, this could be a counselor paying, you know, trying to decide whether or not you pay money for a counselor to work this relationship out. Yeah, Queen of Wands energy here. Some of you, I'm telling you, some of you guys, this is someone who decides to take a break from their significant other and they might, you know, while they're at work, they're actually, um, you know, offering the nookie to somebody else here. I do see a, a moment of cheating here. I'm not sure why this person does that, but it definitely caused some sort of problem. And now you have to take responsibility for it, whatever it is. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a secret here. For some of you guys, this could be someone who, you know, you have a divine feminine that decides to lawyer up here. And that's the challenge. Do you decide to lawyer up? Yeah. And, and they're trapped in whatever this energy is. They don't know if that's what they should do. Somebody's keeping a pregnancy secret. 
I keep seeing that. And it's a matter of time before all of this, you know, comes back in. So whatever it is that you sent out here into the world, it's now coming back in the form of something, in the form of new love. Okay. This is not something that you're going to be able to get away from. You know, it's something that has been manifested here, Virgo. Yeah. It's going to cause conflict with a lot of your different relationships. For some of you guys, Virgo, you're about, your faith is about to be tested here. Okay, this is conflict over faith, conflict over marriage, and who you really love and want to be with. Somebody is in their mind about one particular person here, and they don't understand the mystery behind it. They really don't, but they really desire whoever this person is, and their challenge is going after this particular person and understanding that this is their counterpart. This is someone that they do love, they want to be with, but they just, they act in a single manner here let's do let's do an ancestor message on top of this of course you guys know we always move over into the vimeo extended link which you can find below we talk about how this person feels about you further and what their intentions are going to be towards you um virgo any other messages any other overall messages from my virgos please yeah there's deception here seven of knives you know and you're dissatisfied with it it's you know, the trickery, the deceit, someone who's trying to manifest upon you, you know, they're offering something. Here's the thing. It's interesting to me that the one that is doing the work on you, the work that they're doing on you is actually causing you to walk away. There's a death. This is the death card. The ancestors are showing you what they want you to stop doing or stop dealing with. All right. But there's an offer of deception that's coming in your way and they they know they want you to walk away from it because this cycle now has to end. Whoever it is that is bringing you drama, this is someone who is mentally stuck. There's a vanity issue with this particular person and they're trying to harm you. They're trying to harm this energy of where you can balance out between the yin and the yang that we talked about, right? There's someone, I'm telling you, someone's manifesting on you, Virgo. I don't necessarily see it as you. I see it as you being confused by whatever this is and really having to learn the truth and have faith that love is going to set you free. It will set you free because whoever it is that's in here doing work, deceptive work here. Okay. Somebody lies for work. I just heard. Yeah. You're going to work all this out. This deception you have someone who's throwing at you because of a third party that they do not want to have win here. High priestess energy again, right here in the center. Okay. Intuitively, you know, that this is happening. See, I'm telling you somebody is, and, and here's the thing. There's a, the high priestess energy here is trying to assist you with this temperance energy. Okay. That's what this says. But there's something here. There's someone that has bound themselves or there's someone here who um with the ace of with the ace and see i'm saying ace of swords but it's the truth with the eight of swords someone's at the crossroads with that card and they know they intuitively know that there's a choice that they need to be making that god is guiding them right here and they're conflicted about whatever it is that they're getting ready to manifest because of this eight of swords energy they're at this crossroads. And the only way that you're going to find victory is by taking control of whoever it is that's lying to you. Okay, Virgo? You've got new love and blessings coming in here. Give me one on this Ace of Cups and this Emperor. What is the love of this Emperor? Show me the love of this Emperor. Because the love of the Empress is one of um, blessed beauty and abundance. This is someone who has everything together. And they know what it is that they have. They might even come in and offer something to you here. For some of you guys, there's a woman around you or a man. Um, maybe they just hold the feminine energy. Yeah, see, look, Ten of Cups. This person wants to be with you. They love you. And I, the rejection that's going on in between the two of you, there's something karmic at play with it because you have another divine feminine that is making some sort of an offer here. There's also possibly someone that's trying to manifest a pregnancy, like I said, and that you don't want. That's what I feel. I, someone who wants something from you or they want to create something with you, but you are rejecting it. I know you're rejecting it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so it, even if this is you coming towards your other person, 
there's something here where this person is going to manifest that you end up with your wish fulfillment. Their behavior is going to push you towards the one that you're supposed to be with. Even if they're doing something to you, trying to say, hey, you know, come be with me, blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is that they're doing is going to backfire and you're going to end up being where you're supposed to be. And that's happy and in love. Okay. Very successful because you're not going to allow lies to come in here and bother you anymore. No more lies. Okay. From a Virgo to a Virgo, with a Virgo, around a Virgo, the lies are ending. And this, someone's willing to fight for the relationship where they just cannot stop thinking about whoever this divine feminine is. There's someone that they are in denial about because there's someone who's using some sort of, you know, sex magic blood in the food whatever you know like you can only be with me you know, they're drawn back to this person but really what they keep finding is they're comfortable somewhere else and that's where they're supposed to be because someone is you know sending this vibration towards them you're going to be the challenge is moving towards your true empress here okay and and you know I'm telling you, you two have to come together. You will come together. There will be union and satisfaction here. But right now, you're you're turning your nose up at something. You're turning your nose up at reconciling with somebody because of the back and forth that you're dealing with with someone else here. I'm telling you, you're taking a gamble. I'll see you guys over on Vimeo. The extended link is below. Please don't forget that Friday Night Love Tarot is your weekly. Love you bunches. Peace and love, please.